Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a reading, a quick reading for my uh, Pisces. Okay, so I'll just get to it. <clears throat> Garden angels and spirit guides, what messages do you have for my Pisces? Guardian angels and spirit guides. What messages do you have from Pisces? <clears throat> so we got three cards in reverse. So I'm gonna get them. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Pentacles. So what I'm saying here is that you could have gotten out of your head. Um, you stopped worrying about a could be a possible job situation, uh, a relationship you have. You got okay, hold up. So, I have two messages here. Um, what I see is that, um, you you know, you got out of your head. Technically, what I see is that in a relationship, you were shy, and now you're speaking, now you're like not shy, you're speaking your truth, um, or you came out of like, or you're being shy. Okay, I see it now. <clears throat> You're obsessed with someone. Um, they could be very shy. And you want them <clears throat> to come towards you. So, yeah, you're having hope that this person could come towards you and you could work something out. Um, what I also see is that maybe someone spoke their truth at work um, or partnership. We also have at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So that means retreating and healing. Maybe this was a breakup. So. <clears throat> I will clarify the, the Ten of Swords in reverse. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, could you please clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse? Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides. Please clarify the Ten of Swords.
This one wants to come out. <clears throat> come out. The three of pentacles. So you could be hitting because someone had a third party situation. Three of ten of swords. Okay, we have two cards. We have the full. So yes, you came out of this nine of swords energy. And you decided to take a leap of faith to retreat from this person. Uh, become single and happy with yourself. And the magician to start something new. Um, now I will clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse. So usually upright is like speaking your truth. Okay. So maybe this was in your past. Um... It also means like you could lack um, confidence, lose a battle, fighting. Garden angels and spirit guides, could you please clarify the Ace of Swords in reverse? The Ace of Swords in reverse. I do see the Ace of Cups, so it could be um, past love. Clarify the Ace of Swords, Guardian Angels, and Spirit Guides. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Three cards, too many. Okay, I see. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This reading is for my Pisceans. I'm sorry I didn't say that in the beginning. I'm kind of everywhere right now, to be honest. This reading is for Pisces. Um, sun, Moon, or Rising. We have the Seven of Swords, which means cheating, lying, being deceptive. So, yeah, what I see from you is just straight up lying. <clears throat> there was no clear communication between you and this person. That's why you could have left this person. I will clarify the Eight of Pentacles. So, the Eight of Pentacles is being obsessive. It could mean being obsessive. I also see it. I, I, I see it for me. I see it as not working on this anymore. And take it as... How it resonates. They could be obsessive. You could be obsessive. I see the Ace of Cups again. It's a love offer. Maybe this person wants to come back to you. Um, I do see lots and lots of swords. So Libra, Aquarius. Or um, Gemini. We have two cards. At the bottom of the day, we have the King of Pentacles, which represents um, Capricorn, Aquarius. I mean, Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. We have the King of Wands, which represents fire signs, which is Leo. Um, Sagittarius and Aries. So it could be dealing really with anyone. Um, I have the three of wands. So the three of wands, the king of pentacles, and the king of Wands. 
Okay. So what I see is that you're just really pushing your agenda to to um to find a new new path besides this one to go look out to other possibilities in line. You could see these women just looking out. <clears throat> That's how I feel you're doing right now. You're like not letting this affect you in any way. <clears throat> I will clarify the four swords to see what we get. Guardian angels and spirit guides, please clarify the four swords. Clarify the four swords. Please clarify the four swords. Please clarify the four swords. I see the Empress, which is a nurturing mother, uh, uh, could be a mother figure, or your um, nurturing your body, your soul, your mind. You're really just trying to go look and find for this Ten of Pentacles, happy family, happy life, happy dog, happy child, you know, the star, wishing for that. The Two of Cups. Wishing for the Two of Cups. That's what we have. Because there was a heartbreak with this other person. And now you're just single. And ready to run and do whatever you want. You're at peace. This person could be in their head wanting to offer you something. Um, they're trying to think and see what they can do. Maybe they want to bring you money, a gift. Uh, but we have the Four of Cups with the Devil. So maybe this person is still dealing with the third party situation and not knowing what to do. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords, so you may be um, cold towards this person, and that's making them feel um, the Five of Pentacles, poor, left out in the cold. Um, what the, the Page of Swords and love reading means, like, hold up. Okay, so the Page of Swords means wanting to like really get to know you again try to rekindle something yeah they want they want this um triumph 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 this victory with you so give me a minute i'm gonna put these up now we'll get some inspire, inspirational cards for you today. Garden angels and spirit guides, what last messages do you have for my Pisces for today? So let me know if y'all like these short videos or if y'all want me to prolong it. Because I could prolong it longer. Um, especially with like my other decks that I have. Like I have some really nice oracle decks that are fun and may give you a giggle or two. So just let me know. I'm willing to accept constructive um advice 
constructive <clears throat> comments. Um, okay, we have three cards. At the bottom of the deck is, this is above all to refuse to be a victim. So yes. Do you refuse to be a victim or stay in that toxicity? We have, it's good to do uncomfortable things. It, it's weight training for life. That's so beautiful. It's comfortable to do, no, it's good to do uncomfortable things. It's weight training for life. Most definitely. Oh, so beautiful. Sometimes we have to be the, the um, older person, the bigger person. To change the outcome of our lives. Sometimes we have to um, change our met mentality to be able to change our circumstances. If we keep doing and doing and doing the same thing and expect a different outcome, that's the meaning of being insane. So do you want to be insane mentally, spiritually, or physically? Or do you want to be sane, healthy? Having a healthy mind, body, soul, and spirit. Where you're at peace. And don't have to deal with all this toxicity that brings your energy down. Brings you down. I could go on. If you want to succeed, you should strike out on new paths rather than travel the 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 womb paths of success womb We have, it is very important to know who you are, to make decisions, to show who you are, most definitely. If this person is disrespecting you, is being unloyal, if you accept that, they look at you as someone who can be taken advantage of. So you have to take a decision and show your true authentic self. If you don't like that, you're not going to accept that. We have the most effective way to do it is to do it. Yes, indeed. Just do it. <laughs> like that um, Nike thingy. Alrighty, my beautifuls. I really hope you like this reading. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Ciao. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.